Good morning. My name is Mark Lichty. I want to invite you to a really important event. The reason uh, years ago, four years ago, that I had conceived of uh, The Earth Speaks uh, was that I wanted to give a voice to artists on the climate crisis. We need everybody to be on board and be involved with dealing with the climate crisis. And unfortunately, we're still debating the climate crisis in the United States. That debate has ended in most of the rest of the world. But hopefully this show will help people to understand that we need to take action on the climate crisis. And that's the importance in terms of giving artists a voice. Hi, my name is Mark Lichty. I'm here with Susan Randall, who's the executive director of Pocono Arts Council. So I am new here at the Arts Council and I understand this is the fourth annual Earth Speaks exhibition and I'm really thrilled that we were able to receive approximately 90 submissions from artists from five different states. So um, the juror selected about 60 works that you will see on exhibition in the Arts Council. It's exciting, it's very, it's different, it uh, seems to be very successful and uh, from what I understand this is the fourth time that we've done it and it's a very strong show. Hi, my name is Maria Ferreris. I came from Puerto Rico. And the title for my artwork for this show is After Maria. My inspiration to participate on Earth Speak was exactly the name of the show, Earth Speak, which means the planet is talking to us. What I'm trying to convey with my art is to send a message to everyone out there so they see what we're doing to our planet and um, to understand that we have to do something more positive about it. Um, the Pocono Arts Council is a great foundation where the artists have the, a great uh, opportunity to exhibit their work and to show their talent and creativity. Hi, I'm Lorinda Faye Rubin. I am a photographer from Strasburg, Pennsylvania. I typically photograph nature photography with an emphasis on macro photography, which is my passion. But I also like to explore and do new and different subjects. I took this particular photograph of tomato soup at a, a local recycling center. And it was a very interesting challenge for me to go and photograph um, these tomato cans while they were sitting in this puddle with all of the different debris behind them. I felt this really brought the essence of what a recycling center has and does. It was really a good opportunity to um, show my work and to also enter into the Earth Speaks competition uh, exhibit. I'm Angelina Kimmins, I'm a senior at Pokemon West High School, and I live in Tobyhanna, Pennsylvania. My watercolor painting Mother Earth depicts my appreciation for the beauty and nurture of the Earth. The fetus in my piece represents the future generation and our potential ability to make change in our behaviors in order to halt the drastic deterioration of the environment. Pollution is an alarming issue that affects billions around the world, from the pedestrians in major Chinese cities, the melting of the ice caps in the Arctic, to the majestic creatures under the sea. I think art is a really powerful tool for discussing these sorts of complex and subtle issues like environmentalism. I have a background in both science and art, so I think there's a really unique conversation to be had there. My piece really intends to discuss not only how plastics are building up in our environment and what that effect is, but also socially how we perceive plastic and what sort of role we give it in our lives. I would like to thank the Pocono Arts Council for giving space for local artists like me to share their work and for promoting important conversations like this one.